Just as it is important to have the correct GPS offsets loaded for our tractor, we want to verify that all of our measurements are correct for our planner. In order to find where to put these measurements, from our main page, we will select our Setup tab in the bottom left corner of our screen. This will bring us into our Work Setup page, which we will select the Equipment box. That will bring us into our Equipment Profiles, and from there we will select our Implement Profile, which is our Planner. Once we get into the Implement Profile, this is where we will make changes as necessary. You will want to verify that your connection point is correct, and when we scroll down a little bit more, we will find our working width. This is going to show us the number of rows and the row width per row. The dimensions are going to be the box that we want to select. This is going to have your lateral offset, whether you have your planner center in this, centered or if you have it offset a little bit. You will want to make sure that you put the correct inches in as that will make a big difference in your tracking, having wide guest rows or narrow guest rows. Your center of rotation is going to be your implement hookup point to the center of your drive wheels on your planner. If we need to make any changes to these measurements, we'll select the box and put the correct measurement in for what it is. Once you get the correct number in, you'll hit the OK button and that'll bring you back to your dimensions page, which will hit the OK button again so that way you get back to your implement profile. Scrolling down a little bit more, we'll find our work point. We'll want to select this box. This is the measurement from the center of the hitch to the, to the drop point of the seat on the planner. This is going to make a big difference in the accuracy of your section control, so you'll want to make sure you have a very accurate number for this one. Once you have the right number in, hit OK again to get back to your implement profile. Scrolling down a little bit more, we'll find our sensor setups, as well as going down a little farther, we'll find our mechanical delays. It is important that all planner measurements are accurate, as that will have a big impact on all of your section control. Once everything is selected and corrected, we'll hit our save button to save it to our display.